Morning guys, welcome to the video. I am again in paradise. I'm actually a national forest and that's Glacier National Park on that side of this river. Just gotten up, making some breakfast, let me show you. I know you're all very interested in my morning oats and apple and sugar. It's about 8.17. If I'm onto it, I should be on the bike by 9. We've got a pass to do today. Might be Red Meadow Pass, I'll have to just double check. We're heading into Whitefish. Right, man, on the road. Managed to get going at like 9.17. <laughs> Talked to a few people. Met a girl that biked to us. She gave me some water. So nice of her. That was a great camp spot. Really good. Didn't even know it was there. Just stumbled across it. Which is probably what's going to happen most of this trip. Because, like I said, I don't have the maps. So... The ACA map, so it is, or the app. So it's, that's more exciting, right? Anyway, we got a bit of a flat road. It's really rough though. And then we'll be climbing. So I've got my music in. Head down for now. All right, we've just pulled onto Red Meadow Road. 12 Ks, oh hang on, 12 miles to the campground. So I get to enjoy some nice, cool forest. It is so good to be in the shade because I know out of the shade it's a good few degrees warmer. I can just feel it. Yeah. Hopefully soon we get some epic views. Just bumped into a northbounder, had a little chat. I'm trying to stop and talk to the majority of the riders that I pass. You never know what you're going to learn from other people that have been on the trail, especially if they've come from the way I'm going, you know. And yeah, we recommended a few places to camp and stay, which is great. Yeah, and it's land out here for a minute. But I imagine we've got a bit more climbing before we're through here with Red Meadow Pass. This has not been too bad so far, I must admit. Compared to how strenuous yesterday it was. <laughs> hey, I ain't complaining. Oh, wow, that's nice. Look at that. I see people have been camping up here. Actually, oh, what's that butterflies? I love it when it opens up like this. How pretty this is. So quiet up here too. I should check our elevation, I suppose, shouldn't I? Look at that peak. That's so cool. Wow. I'm loving this. This is beautiful trail. Right, so I'm 500 meters of elevation gain today. You can see these roads are pretty brutal, but I'm nearly at Red Meadow Lake. You can see how close we are to the top here. And I think this campsite and lake is pretty much the top of this pass. It's amazing up here. A little exposed right now, but I wanted to grab this clip for you. Amazing. Hey, we're nearly there. Might be around the corner, I think. Oh wow, this is amazing. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Hey, there's people up here. Ah, oh, typical, I guess. Look at this. The road just wraps around this side. Isn't that just a epic? Whoa. I think I'm going to stop and have lunch here. I think I saw a little bench over there. Austin, but then I'm. Obviously having trouble sleeping, so I like bought this like mini air conditioner. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, had lunch at the lake. Now on our way back down, and look at that. Hopefully you can see all right. It is a little sunny, I know. Whoa, I'm holding the phone, it's a little bumpy. Oh, it's beautiful out here. I really, really enjoyed my time up at that lake. I'll tell you why in a minute. How beautiful this is. Oh, I can't believe some of this. I just love it. Montana has so much to offer. So much. Whoa. Woo! Wow. I suppose it was bound to happen eventually. I nearly just lost my sleeping bag off the front. It nearly fell off. Like I was like holding it with one hand, trying to break with the other so I didn't lose it and run over it. <laughs> it's alright, I'll just strap it back on and we'll be back on the road. Oh yeah, so. The reason it was so good up at that lake, Red Meadow, is that I met a girl and her mum, uh, Linda and Kelly, 
and they were really nice. Gave me their address for a woman in Whitefish and said I could use their paddleboard and kayak, which sounds awesome. I've been so keen to do that. And I was already planning to take some time off in Whitefish just to relax. And also, me and Callie went for a little hike. You know, John had just been telling us about it and it was only like a couple miles. So yeah, we went and did that. It was a lot of fun. I probably want to do a bit more hiking on this trip. You know, I've got so much extra time, really, that I probably could be doing a few more different things. So I might try and take advantage of it, especially while I'm further north, because I think the weather is, well, there's probably more water and less dry heat. So I've actually made it down to Upper Whitefish Lake now. That's so beautiful. I think there's like a camp area where I might be able to get in a bit closer. Yeah, I just came down to the public area. I think it is anyway. It's a bit hard to see with the sun, I suppose, isn't it? Trust me, it's nice. We are rolling. And I tell you what, it is a nice change to the last day and a half. Thank you to the trail gods for rewarding me. It's very nice. Very nice. Dense forest, isn't it? It's opened up a little bit so we can see through the trees. It's really nice. Descending. I heard something in the bushes. Probably nothing. So how exactly it's five o'clock? I'm really not sure. The day has just disappeared. Just collected some of this beautiful Beautiful fresh water here. Oh, it's so good. Mm. It's like cold, not like icy, just cold enough. And I don't know, clean. Uh, I gotta have a look where I am. Look at this view of the valley. Actually, it looks kind of smoky. And I did see a helicopter before, so I wonder if there's a fire somewhere in here. I don't know. Normally my experience in the US, from what I've heard, is they just put them straight out. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh yeah, look at that. Whew. Oh yeah. Look at this. Beautiful. It's changed like quite a lot once again, hasn't it? The trees are bigger. I'm sure they're bigger, aren't they? Wow. I think we've got like a bit of descending now and then a little climb like 175 meters and then down again into whitefish. So we've got a nice flowy descent now and some of this forest it's pretty deep and cool actually especially on my left. I just went past a bunch by the time I got the camera ready I think I missed it. Yeah. This is really nice. Well, I might let the brakes off. Woo! Look at that. So I was just thinking about the races, you know, and I'm like, what am I? 10, oh, 11 or something days in with, oh, well, there's some okay, corrugations there. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking about that. It's like, the fastest time was in like 14 days. It's only a few days from now. How the hell do those races do it? You know, it's crazy. If you haven't heard about the Tour Divide race, that's what I'm talking about. It's like an annual race in June. I think it starts June 10. But man, they're hardcore people. The record is like 14 days. 14 days. I'm getting to enjoy some descending. My whole body's like falling asleep. Man, man. Like my body feels so tired. I think it's the sun. And it's kind of late as well. It's probably almost six now. Trying to give you a good idea of what it looks like on this descent. Because I know I didn't get too much footage of the ride up because it was pretty brutal. And I really like this forest. Been pretty like wooded today, you know. I haven't whoa, really had too many um, like open plains or anything. Or, open areas where you can see the valley. 
Talk about change of scene. It's a lot greener. Or grassier maybe. And a nice sealed road. Ah, a blessing at the end of the day. Won't be too long. We'll be in Whitefish. Hopefully having a swim at the lake. Or the river, I guess. Is it a lake? I don't know. Might be. Look at that. That must be lower whitefish. Whoa. Wow, it's huge, this lake. Let's roll on down. Well, I made it down to a state park, Les Mason, which turns out isn't the state park that you can hike, bike, camp at. I don't think it has camping. Whoops. But I might have some food and have a swim here. I'm feeling like, whoa, tired. So I jumped in, had a swim. Look how nice it is here. I guess I stumbled on the dog beach. There's dogs everywhere, which is fine by me. But there is hair in the water. <laughs> So I'm going to fill up some of these water bottles. Not in this water, there might be a tap somewhere. And I'm going to keep riding into whitefish, I think. Can you all remind me what these are called? When you have like a sandwich just with like chips in it? I can't remember. All right, I'm rolling the last bit into whitefish. I'm going to try and find a subway or something, use some Wi-Fi, relax for a bit. Well, whitefish is pretty. It's all pretty new. Going to the library here. Gonna take advantage of the public services. Oi. All right, I'm at the library, contemplating life. I'm cooked, man. Like, my legs are just like, oh, let's just go to sleep here now. But I do have to find somewhere to camp. That's, uh, I didn't really see anywhere super suitable on the way into town. There's like a few power line trails, hydro lines, which I could probably camp on, but I heard there's a hiker biker here. It's like five bucks. It's four Ks from here. I'm just going to go there, I think. Ugh, I mean, what does it even matter? Five dollars, you know? We're going to come back here in the morning. I'm going to take a day off here, though. But i got to come back to the library to do a few things so yeah just got to get my ass back on that bike so look at this they even have a hike a bike sign on the sign for the state park over the railway crossing and into the state park hopefully i don't come off very nice quite which state park this is the way stop no lane Check out this site guys, not too bad, hey? Eight bucks, which, you know, whatever. There's a little bike tool thing, what do you call it? Uh, it's a hanger, work on it, work stand. Bear boxes, just made my way down to the water. Just for a moment, it's already after nine, I just can't believe it. All right, just like that, it's dark, it's after 10 and I'm going to bed. It's gonna sleep so, so good tonight. And yeah, day off in Whitefish, and then we'll be back on the road. So I will see you guys then. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, peace out.